actress Natalie Wood drowned in 1981, and four decades later, her death remains one of Hollywood's greatest mysteries. So what really happened aboard her star-studded boat? First, here's a look back at her case. Capturing our hearts at age eight, Natalie Wood was one of the few who successfully went from child actress to Hollywood starlet. Life can be bright in America. If you can fight in America, life is all right in America. In 1957, she married fellow actor Robert Wagner. The two divorced five years later, but remarried in 1971. On November 29, 1981, Natalie and Robert, along with actor Christopher Walken, took their yacht out in Santa Catalina Harbor. The next morning, the Coast Guard found Natalie's body floating in the water near an inflatable dinghy. There was bruising on her arms and scratches on her neck and face. Robert told police that Natalie had taken the dinghy out to go party hopping on nearby boats. Police labeled her death an accidental drowning, but 30 years later, in 2011, the case was reopened after the boat's captain said he lied to police. He claims Natalie and Robert got into a fight because Natalie was flirting with Christopher Walken. He says Robert became jealous and enraged, pushing Natalie overboard. Robert then prevented him from turning on the searchlights or calling the Coast Guard. Natalie's cause of death was changed to drowning and other undetermined factors, and in 2018, Robert Wagner was named a person of interest. No arrest has ever been made. And Natalie's younger sister, Lana, says she knows what really happened that night, and she is naming names. Take a look. Lana Wood, welcome first to DBL. Your book lays out a lot about your sister's death and your former brother-in-law actor, Robert Wagner. So let's just start at the beginning, okay? What did you think originally of your sister and Robert's relationship before her death? I, I wasn't thrilled. I questioned why she was remarrying him in later years after they married. There seemed to be a lot of contentious feelings about her working, not working. It, it wasn't the happiest thing, and I didn't try to engage R.J., Robert Wagner. I'm fascinated with this story, as is America. Your sister's a Hollywood icon, and I think everyone would ask this question if they had the chance to ask you. The elephant in the room, what do you believe happened to your sister the night she died? What happened on that night really took place a night before is they began arguing and just it, it seemed like when they left for Catalina they were already angry with each yeah. other mm -hmm. um when they got there the, the night was so unpleasant that Natalie left the splendor and went on shore and booked a hotel room she took Dennis DeBurn with her who is the the captain on the splendor um, as she fears being by herself. She decided to go back. When she went back, things were okay, sort of until they started drinking at dinner. Right. And then tempers started to flare again. Before long, the fight became so vocal and so loud that uh, Dennis had turned up music to drown out the, the arguments, and R.J. took a wine bottle, smashed it on the coffee table, and threatened Christopher Walken with it. Wow. So at this point, Christopher Walken leaves and goes to his stateroom, closes the door. At this point, Dennis said that the loud arguments and the noises coming from their estate room were so intense. He said it sounded like people were throwing furniture against walls. So Dennis left. He turned up more music. He went up to the wheelhouse. And when he looked down towards the back of the boat, Natalie and I, RJ, were now outside and arguing violently. He said it. it he became very concerned. He said it looked uh, physical as well. So he then started to make his way down to the back of the boat 
And when he got there, I mean, it's, it's not a big boat. He looked around and, and said, where's Natalie? And RJ said, she's gone. I do have to include that, you know, Robert Wagner has been adamant that he didn't have anything to do with Natalie's death. So why are you so adamant that he did? Well, if he did not have anything to do with it, why did Dennis see what he did? Why did a woman hear things who was on a nearby yacht moored about 100 feet away from them? Um, and why didn't he ever speak to the police? Why didn't he speak to the detectives? He flat out refused, would never speak to them. And uh, when he, he didn't even, he didn't even identify Natalie's body. Oh uh, my he God. didn't who even did? who go did? to her. Oh my God, who identified? Dennis, he sent Dennis. So let's talk about the other person that was on the boat right. that was not in the back of the boat, which was Christopher Walken. Have you ever yeah. spoken to him about that night? No, I have not. Is that by choice? Yes. I did write to him one time and say, you know, can we just get together and discuss this? Because this is something that has affected Natalie's children. Of course. Um, my entire household. But he never responded. However, when contacted by the new detectives on the reopened case, he did go and give them a complete statement, but they sealed it and said that they could not ever tell that story to the press or anything. Lana, thank you so much for that informational discussion and chatting with us today. DBL Nation, run, don't walk to get Lana's book, Little Sister, My Investigation into the Mysterious Death of Natalie Wood. It is anywhere books are sold. Thanks again, Lana. Thank you very much. Thank you. DBL reached out to Robert Wagner for comment. He did not respond.